Happy Saturday, everybody. We are talking today about local service ads and all of the updates that have been happening recently. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us for another Small Business Saturday. Today, we're talking about the local service ads on Google. Nick, there's been a ton of updates, literally the only constant in digital marketing is actually the change. <laughs> so talk to us a little bit about what are some of the changes that we're seeing. Um, prior, we knew that we were essentially inflating budgets to the maximum dollar amount that we could. That's not the case anymore. Yeah, so actually this year, around in January 2023, in case, uh, depending on when you're watching this, Google had a ton of huge changes that are going to affect where you're ranking, how much your ads are actually showing, and just activity that you guys are going to be sent. So like Joe was saying, uh, inflated budgets, that is no longer the case. Google wants to see realistic budgets. So if you're a smaller company, you're only looking to spend $2,000 a month on the local service ads, do $500 for your weekly budgets. Right off the bat, that's something that we can actually see and have already seen more activity coming in the dashboard. Yeah, what we've what Google's really looking for is to have a realistic inflated number, something that yeah. you can actually spend. In certain markets, depending on where you're at, like we have some clients that were inflated to 25 million a week. Not that they would actually spend that, but we're telling Google, hey, we've got the money to spend. We want to be able to spend it even if they couldn't do 25 million. Now Google's saying that that's not what they want anymore. Um, that was the case where initially they were telling us inflate them as much as you can. Um, and now they're kind of backtracking, finding other ways to get good results. So don't inflate your budgets anymore to something that you can't afford. Um, now another aspect is actually the radius of when you run the ads. So talk to us about that. Yeah, so Google said you're gonna to wanna to stay within a 60 mile radius. Um, that's gonna be huge. They wanna make sure you're not spreading yourselves too thin and just trying to dominate a huge area. They want to, they are local service ads, so they want you to keep it more local. And another thing in regards to like radius and just geographics, you wanna make sure you're not overlapping. If you have different local service ad locations, make sure you hone in on those, get really specific, because if they overlap even by a mile, boom, Google could flag you for that and it's gonna hurt your rankings too. Yeah, the third aspect is manual bidding. Um, Google allows you to allow Google to bid on the ads or you can do manual bidding. Um, before what worked was manual bidding where we would kind of allow Google to bid and then after an extended period of time like 90 days, we would end up doing the bidding and inflate the budget above what the average cost per call was. Now. Google doesn't appreciate that. So what instead is the case is that we want to allow Google to do the bidding. It does take the you know, reins out of our hands, but um, that is where we see a lot of performance actually happening where there's more call volume. And then Nick, one last thing about reviews. Yeah, so reviews are gonna be huge. They always matter. Um, so how the local service dashboard works, it's gonna pull in all the reviews, even from your Google business profile. But what they want to see is verified reviews. And the magic number to get to is five. So if your uh, LSAs have gone dormant, they're not really getting any activity at all, try to get those five verified reviews as soon as possible. And how they are verified is you can go on your reviews portion of your dashboard, click on actually request a review from anybody you've done business with, make sure you reach out to them and say, hey, use this review link because that's how it's going to come verified. After they actually get that review in, it's going to take about a week or so for Google to make sure it's verified. And then that magic number, remember, it's five. You want to obviously keep growing from there. But as soon as you get five reviews, Google is going to really start sending more activity your way. And then it's just going to really snowball from that point on. Awesome. All right. So just a quick recap. Make sure that you don't inflate your budget to the maximum dollar value that it can be. Make sure you stay 60 miles uh, within the advertising geography. Make sure you're sending out verified reviews and make sure that Google is, a, you're allowing Google to bid on the cost per call for you. Nick, anything else? No, just obviously if you guys have any questions, your LSAs have gone you know, silent and you're looking to get something up, call Jill, call myself. We're more than happy to jump on, take a look at the dashboard, jump in, see what's going on and, and get you guys moving in the right direction. Awesome, thank you, Nick. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned for next week and have a great weekend. Oh,